Okay, uh, buongiorno, good morning again everybody. Welcome back to our um, family channel, back to Sicily. I'm standing here uh, by the waterfront this morning because I just got done um, doing some transactions over at the main post office uh, on Via Roma where I'm going to try to walk back and show you. I'm going to uh, basically trace the the, my steps from about the second day I was here in Palermo about two months ago. So again, today is, um, I believe, the uh, fi uh, what is it, uh, 58th day, and uh, it is November 19th, Friday, Venerdì, the uh, Cedove de Novembre. So again, I'm here. The, the um, I don't know if you can see. Well, maybe I'll swing the camera this way. You'll see. This is uh, by the uh, waterfront. That's La Cala, the little uh, marina area where I was uh, again uh, several weeks ago. So I just want to show you a little panoramic view here. In the background there you see uh, Monte Pellegrino, which is uh, just on the other side of that would be the um, their beach area here called Mondello. I'll just show you this uh, random random sign here behind me that says uh, towards uh, uh, tourist information center so we'll head we'll head that way and I'm going to actually right here you can see already that's this the school that I was looking at initially for um, for the kids and uh, I think it's only basically an elementary school I think uh, Leo will probably be aging out of that that um, that school. But anyway, let me just show you again La Cala. You can see some of the um, the uh, the sailboats um, uh, mast uh, sticking out, and then there's this very rather sizable empty plot, which is unusual for for downtown. Uh, Palermo and over here seems to be just a uh, an open uh, used car sales lot so here there's I think uh, a church right there and anyway what we're interested in is that school building right over there so let's take a walk over there and have a look around Again, it's a nice, nice sunny day in Palermo, and um, not too much traffic in this neck of the woods. But now I'm again, my memory cells are really burning out. I'm having trouble trying to remember the name of the school was is. Atria, uh, I don't think it's Luisa. But you can see there some of the architecture already. Nice church steeple on that side. Um, normally you would hear a lot of chatter from the kids but maybe we're just a little bit too far away and um, again on this side this is the administrative building uh, I don't know if it's like a district board of education but that's the building where I went into to actually uh, talk to one of the school administrators and the one lady who spoke English quite well so you'll see that um, oh wait, it's okay so it's called uh, Instituto Comprensivo Statale let me show you the sign uh, Rita Atria that's the name of it and I think it, they also specialize usually you would hear musical instruments just walking through these streets because the kids are um, are doing their their lessons so oh here's the, a local sort of famous or popular um, restaurant called 
bevi y manja, which of course means drink and eat. And I'm gonna take you to my little secret corner here where I started that first video that I did of this neighborhood. And uh, there's this little pizza store, or pizza restaurant rather, which is quite popular. And of course it's closed. Ah, Funako right there. So I don't know if you remember from my, one of my earlier videos, I, st I started out in this kitty corner here. And uh, one of these days before I leave, I'm going to try to be sure to have a, oh, somebody's here, the gates are unlocked. And as you can take a peek, there are always these nice nooks and crannies. And this looks like a workshop here. This bunch of pipes and, and um, wood, wood supply. You can hear uh, somebody drilling in the back. So this is again, um, you can, oops, you can see this is called the Funako uh, Pizza Pizzeria Restaurant. Okay, it gets a lot of good reviews on a lot of the a lot of the um, travelers who who come around and search out for these um, search out for these small restaurants in and around Palermo. Actually, if we go down, if if I would walk down to the left, down that way would would take me to um, the. Uh, Bucheria, La Bucheria, that famous open market. One of the three, because as you uh, might remember, there's Balaro, which I have yet to to, to um, visit and, and do a video up and down that street. I did um, Bucheria, I did uh, Mercato del Capo, where I used to live nearby. So let me just show you a quiet shot of, oh, Manja y Bevi. So it's eat and drink. I got it the other way around. And then there's another restaurant here called uh, Igrile. I didn't see that sign before, but now we're gonna go, ciao, buongiorno. We're gonna try to go in front of the school and I'll show you, uh, it seems like some of the kids are around. It is now what time? It's almost 11 o'clock. So maybe they're right in the middle of their, their days. But one of the reasons why I came back down this way is I saw on the newspaper that there was some controversy about some local artists who were planning to to um, paint this this empty pavement over here with some murals, which were quite um, quite impressive and could probably dress up this rather drab front. And I know there's a local effort. You can see here, it says the wall of beauty where they're trying to have the kids uh, fill the planters here with some plants. And so, um, I don't know, I guess that's that effort is all caught up with the local zoning people, zoning commission. So the wall of beauty, El Muro de la Belleza, de la Belleza. And over here, you'll see just, um, well, behind this, I think this is an olive tree. You get the guy standing in the corner there where some of the moms later will come and have their coffee on their way to, um, to pick up the kids from school. So these are the front steps right here of the school. And uh, I'll try to show you the, oh, I hear some of the musical instruments. So there we go. Atria, Rita, I'm sorry, Rita Atria is the name of the school. I'll do a 360. You can see that's towards the, the water front over there. And a little bit of a scooter and, and car traffic here. But we'll complete the 360 and I'll head back down towards the, um, this is now uh, Via Valverde, which if you can recall from my first video upload from this neighborhood uh, this building right here in the center of the video right now this building right here uh, was one of the first 
locations of an Airbnb that we were uh, considering staying in if the kids were with me because it's actually a spacious two bedroom, uh, really fabulous apartment way up on the top floor. And right there you can see, I'm not really sure if it goes this far, maybe it's this window here, but it has a great, um, it looks out towards the uh, Church of uh, Santa Domenico, Santa Domenico, and it's just a very pretty view of the city. Uh, you can see, here's some teachers. So school is in session. I was the, under the erroneous impression that maybe it's a school holiday to, today because it's so quiet. But so here, this is, um, this is Via Valverde here, and you can see that's the main post office here in Palermo, where I spent uh, the first hour today. And oh, I'm just gonna swing a little bit this way, and you'll see down this alley, the street, there's another school, uh, that yellow one over there. And I believe, um, again, when I was here the last time, th there were some high school kids just uh, standing around this corn intersection over here. And they were very friendly. So let me just walk you down Via Valverde, which is looking very clean. And uh, just a couple of, couple of soda cans laying around, but otherwise it's again, very typical of, um, of the historic downtown area of Palermo. Um, not on the main tourist routes uh, in and around Palermo to see the major sites such as uh, Teatro Massimo, of course, and the Cathedrale, and uh, many, many of the other sites that tourists are taken to see when they have less than eight hours to be in Palermo. So as I get closer to the street, you'll see how, how, um, how massive and monumental this, this post office looks. And actually spending about an hour in there waiting, waiting to do my transaction reminded me, uh, oh, UPS is here of course reminded me of how how the architecture pretty much um, imitates much of the um, the archwork and design and so this is Via Roma and where I'm pointing would be heading towards uh, what I call the downtown area where Teatro Massimo is that's um, which is on the Piazza Verde right about um, three blocks from from where we're standing right now so I'm gonna do a 360. You'll see the um, the main post office building with these um, dark columns. Uh, they're not fluted. I don't see any um, any other architectural design. It's a very simple, um, very massive, solid columns. And down this way, uh, the opposite end of Via Roma, of course, you'll end up. Uh, right there in front of the um, what's called Centrale, the central station for Palermo. And if I walk down, which I won't really do now because I'm past the, the way past the 10 minute uh, um, mark, uh, would be um, just halfway, I mean, actually two blocks over, would be the uh, where La Bucharia is and the uh, Church of uh, Santo Domenico, as well as the, the fancy. Um, department store Renascente. So I'll, I'll close for now. Grazie for, for tuning in to another one of our uploads and uh, let's see what the rest of our our Friday will, will bring us. Have a great day. Ciao from Palermo. Salve.